a scientist? Well, you guessed it right. And you know why? Why, Shika? Riya, in yesterday's class, my teacher told the reason of celebrating 20th February as National Science Day. And that was it. I have decided now, I will become a scientist. Great, Shika. Can you please share that with me as well? Of course, Riya. The 20th of February, National Science Day. In 1921, the iconic Indian physicist Chandra Sekhra Venkata Raman was on board a ship and on his way to home from London when a question struck him, why is the sea really blue? He wasn't convinced with the notion that it's blue because of the sky's color. So in March 1928, he published a theory that came to be known as Raman scattering, aka Raman effect. Raman effect is the change in the wavelength of light that occurs when a light beam is deflected by the molecules. Basically, and this is called the Raman effect. No, Sita, I didn't get that. Okay, Ria, let's try and simplify. You see an apple on a bright sunny day. It's red in color, right? But why? Well, the sun's light is made up of all the colors and each color has its particular wavelength. Similarly, a red apple is made up of certain molecules which interacts with the sun's light and absorb all the colors except red. And hence, you see a red apple. Okay, Shika, now I get it that every object around us is made up of different molecules and they reflect different wavelengths of light. And therefore, we can see different colored objects. So the main reason for ocean's water to be blue is the way water molecules absorb and scatter colors of sunlight. Absolutely, my friend! Now I will always remember February for the one of the most important and remarkable days in the history of science besides 